Hi, it's Jude Reed here, PJ Professional. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you like the content I'm putting out, then if you subscribe, you'll get the uh, latest post straight away. Um, okay, so I posted earlier on in the week um, uh, a video just to ask um, for you guys to comment and uh, let me know what my next video should be about. Um, uh, tell me what your problems are and I'll see if I can give you a, a little bit of a solution. Um, and it was interesting. Um, I sort of put that comment out there and I was getting people uh, making various comments. Um, and a few of the guys were sort of talking about technical things like, you know, how, how do I do a certain move? You know, what position should I be in? Or, you know, I want to be in this position. And my question back to them was, why? You know, what's your problem? Um, you know, why, why, why do you want to get this move in? You know, what, what are the symptoms, what, what are the challenges you're having? Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, um, I drive a car, most people drive a car. Um, if I'm driving it along and it doesn't feel right, um, you know, I, don't, I know nothing about cars. You know, I might drive one, I'm not an expert, but I, I drive a car very well, you know, nicely, but I'm not an expert. So I would take it to the garage and I wouldn't go to the mechanic and say, you need to look at this, you know. I, this is definitely wrong. I think you need to look at you know this area of the car. Um, you know I don't know enough about cars. Even though I'm good at it, I can you know I can drive a car. Um, the mechanic would go you know so what what's the problem? You know what are you experiencing? What's the feeling? You know what, what's happening to the car? And then it's his decision to make um, or to you know look into the fault and know he will know the problem and he will know what to do to fix it. And that's a little bit like what you need to do or that's what I do, or you need to do with your golf. You know, you need to come to someone like me to fix the problem. Don't guess, don't think you know what the issue will be. You know, if you want to hit the ball higher or lower, you know, don't go onto YouTube and find a solution. You need to go and see someone because they need to look at your golf swing, look at the impact factors. You know, they need to know um, what's your problem, not a generic problem, what's happening with you, because it might, might be a sequence of things wrong that you have to sort of start at point one and not jump into sort of point five. So what I'm trying to say is, if you've got a problem with your golf swing and you think you, you think there's a solution out there, be very aware that it possibly won't work for you, most likely not. You need to go and see someone and that's the best way to get quick results, to get faster results um, and not sort of try something and then that will lead on to something else going wrong. You know, you can have a sort of downward spiral if you try something and it's actually the wrong thing to try. So. One of the comments was, um, one of the guys who commented wants to strike the ball better. Okay, so to strike the ball better, from my experience, it's uh, nearly always um, having a sound setup a, and a solid grip, and then making sure that you can transfer your body weight during the swing. That's not with extra power or trying to swing it faster or doing anything too complicated. It's just a question of getting you into a neutral position at setup where you're agile and ready to move. And then you simply try and transfer the weight using the whole body to hit the golf ball, not just your arms, you know, using the whole body. Okay, so how we start that is we're going to try and get the, we're going to get a good hold on the, on the golf club. So when we do the hold, the first of all we do, we get the golf club to line down towards the target. It needs to, the leading edge, the bottom part, which is touching the floor, needs to aim towards the target. We then get your, your, your hand, so the golf club's placed in the fingers, and then you'll find your hand will go over the top a little bit more, and you'll see the V, is pointing to the right of my chin, okay, on my left hand. Okay, I can see about two knuckles. We'll then get the right hand on, okay. Don't mind if you do interlocking, overlapping, baseball. If you are slicing the ball, you might want to go for baseball just to help you in the short term. It's not a permanent fix, but it can help you square the face during the swing and get it a little bit, you know, less side spin on the ball. So we're going to put the right hand in. I use an interlocking grip, so I've interlocked my fingers. You can see my right hand covers my left thumb and the V on my right hand is pointing in the same direction as the left, which is just to the right of my chin, okay, between my chin and my right shoulder. Okay, at that point, we're going to establish a nice um, stance, so it's going to be shoulder width apart, and you're going to just let your arms hang, okay? So I'll do it from this side so you can see what I'm doing with my spine. So, I'll get the golf club behind the ball. I have my feet together just so I'm working purely on the grip club in the fingers, thumbs positioned just slightly to the right hand of, right side of the uh, handle um, because when I take the golf club up to the top of the backswing the thumb is going to be supporting and underneath the golf club. 
right hand on, cover your left thumb, these are pointing to the right of my chin, I move my left foot and right foot and then I have a ball position with my seven irons just forward of middle. I then have to bend from my hips, I stick my pelvis out, I feel like I've got a bit of a small in my back, I'm not bending from my shoulders, as soon as you do that you're going to get inconsistent strikes because you can't maintain your posture during the swing, so you're going to stick your bum out, stick your hips out and feel like your chest is still quite tall, okay, so we're going to be up here. At that point, I'm going to get the weight on the balls of my feet with just a little bit of knee flex. Not too much because the weight goes back there. So literally, it's bend over, just flex the knees, weight on the balls of my feet. And my arms are now hanging from my shoulders and I've got about a knuckles width between me and the club. I wouldn't normally measure that because you never get a flat lie, but just try and feel that this is enough space so when your arms are hanging, you know, you've got some space, okay? So we're there and then during the swing, all I'm trying to do is transfer my weight to my right side and then through onto my left, so on the way back to my right side, so the weight's around there, I'm keeping that knee flexed and when I use my legs and transfer my weight into a follow through position, so all my weight's on my left side, okay? So this is what it looks like. And there we go, one of my good ones. Um, I don't always hit the pin, but there we go, it was a great demonstration. Um, so there we go, so that was a seven iron perfect distance, so you can't say any more than that, can you? Um, so the main point is, if you wanna be a better ball striker, don't look at moves in the golf swing. Forget about the path and anything like that. Just work on your setup, make sure you're athletic. And then just firstly work on transferring the weight through the ball. A lot of the power comes from your legs during the golf swing, so feel like they're moving, don't feel like you're trying to help it in the air. As soon as you do that, you're, you know, misstrike it. You've got to feel like of an iron that you continue to weight towards the target, transfer the weight nice and smooth, okay? Keep it that simple, see whether that helps your ball striking. Um, if you need more information and you feel like it's a technical solution, honestly, stop. Come and see someone like me, have a quick look, we'll make sure that we've got We've got the right game plan in place. You know, there's no quick fixes in golf. You ha like I said, you might not have to jump to five. You might have to start at number one, just get these bits and get them in order. And then you might start looking at the finer points of a golf swing, okay? But just don't rush into looking at something that is quite technical and actually has no bearing on the impact factors because that's what we're, that's what's it all about. It really doesn't matter really too much about what this golf swing is doing. It's just what happens as you deliver the golf club to the ball, okay? That's why you see so many different swings on tour. The important bit is what's happening with the ball, okay? So if you like what you've um, seen, please, again, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, um, like my Facebook page, and there's a Facebook group you can join. It's called Kent Golfers Advice, Tips and Chat, and you'll find the link on my website, which is www.teachgolf.co.uk. Thanks for watching.